Good evening. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the uh, first uh, evening lecture at the AA uh, this year. Uh, sorry to have uh, kept you waiting. Uh, though this lecture was announced for 7 o'clock, I just would like to remind everyone uh, that uh, all evening lectures at the AA uh, will start at 6.30 uh, as of uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, I think that will be announced on the posters and it might be a good thing to, uh, uh, to remember. We will have some lectures at 5 o'clock also in the afternoon. Um, it's a great pleasure uh, to uh, welcome uh, Massimiliano Fuxas to uh, DAA. I think uh, in order to get a, uh, I think a very precise sense of uh, the way that uh, Massimiliano uh, works, um, I'm going to read a uh, brief text um, uh, about a project, the Hanseatic Trade Center, uh, that, he, uh, that he designed and his description of this particular project. I quote, he says, I still remember one night in September when a friend and I were taking a walk. It was not cold by the river. As we observed the town and its old red brick docks, we were struck by the peace and calm which had become so rare in other towns. At that hour, there was hardly a soul about. The light of the night sky created a halo over the town and the reflections in the water had acquired an extraordinary magical quality. The night, the lights, and the darkness had the power to transform everything. Later on, in describing the concept of this project, he goes on and says, the concept, the light of this night sky with its reflections in the water implanted itself in my mind as the main concept behind this project for the Hanseatic Center of Hamburg. And the very spot from which it would emerge took on the shape in my head of a kind of platform on the water, one sensitive to all changes in light and yet more sensitive to the movement of the river. I imagined that the buildings would barely even touch the ground, that they would skim the surface, that their foundations would blend into the overall scene, but also that uh, what was needed was the transmutation of matter into weightlessness like a flowing river. I think the description of this project uh, gives us as I said, a very precise insight about the way in which the work of Massimiliano Fuxas relies on the imagination, on dreams, and noticing, as he says, the magical quality of things. His method of work has its closest analogy with the tradition of fiction writing. Instead of relying on precedent and typology, I think, his work becomes a form of projective imagining. The exhibition of some of Massimiliano's recent projects gives us I think uh, this, this focus into the method used, devices such as models and drawings that are used to emphasize the conceptual characteristics. There is, in a sense, a form of uh, reductive uh, condition that is part of uh, the models to precisely emphasize this uh, the idea of the conceptual quality of the, of the projects. I would like to thank Massimiliano Fuxas for allowing us to have this exhibition and also Linda Brown and Andrew McKenzie and the rest of the AA exhibition team for making the exhibition possible. Would you please join me in welcoming Massimiliano Fuxas. I cannot speak better than uh, your dean. It's, uh, it's terrible. It's, uh, and I speak very bad English. But, uh, excuse me, I cannot speak better because I am Italian. <laughs> and this is very strange because nobody remember that I am a real Italian. I am more than Italian, I am a Roman. <laughs> then after many years that I am uh, in uh, something like uh, Bruce Chetwin of architecture because I am working overall, a little bit nomadism. I, I believe that nomadism is good. We have to be more nomadist, more nomad. And now I came back to Rome, science, uh, September. And I came back in my town. Yes, 
it's not really that I come back. I have uh, still now three offices, one in Paris, one in Rome, and one in Vienna now because we have to start a project to build. But Rome is, uh, is a fantastic town. And I think that now I remember that uh, was my older roots. I feel Roman, honestly. And I feel, uh, perhaps uh, I don't feel very much Italian because my father was a Lithuanian, <coughs> come from Baltic. But I feel very Roman and I, I feel that it's a beautiful town and uh, you can you can learn, you can teach, you can know a lot of things if you come in Rome. Please come in Rome sometime. It's nice to be in Rome. And when you come in Rome, come to visit me. And we can drink some wine together, and we can speak there. Then, now I can tell you something. Architecture for me, after many years that I am working around, I have to say you that I start like a painter, and I am very interested to painting, to artists, much more than architecture, honestly. They are more exciting. A filmmaker also, they are more exciting than us. Sometimes we are a little bit sad. Sometimes we become to be businessmen. Powerful, I am afraid to be businessmen. Sometimes we have to speak about money. Then I think that uh, I start to work with, uh, when I was 16 years old in Roma, with Giorgio De Chirico. And Giorgio De Chirico was a very awful man, I have to say you, but he was so fantastic. He was awful. He never spent money. He had two wives. Two wives. The first one was uh, very nice, the second one less. <laughs> My, but he was a very interesting man, uh, Giorgio De Chirico. I have to say you something about De Chirico before to speak about other things, uh, architecture. De Chirico, uh, he met uh, the second wife in his way. This is the character of De Chirico. He was in the restaurant one evening in Rome, near Piazza di Spagna, via Borgognona. Still now you can find this restaurant. And, uh, and uh, a lot of friends are sitting around the table. They count, they feel a lot. The key say, how many are we? Thirteen. Ah, you know that Italians are very supersti superstitious. Then he said, I cannot sit with you. We had to find some other people. He went out, and the first that they met was the future wife of Giorgio De Chirico. <laughs> 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 then, uh, with some kind of mess, uh, I could not be better. It was very difficult for me. And after it was very interesting in this time. But I want to introduce you one concept that I. Honestly, when you are walking, are you traveling <coughs> overall, what is the best that you can feel, uh, you can see around architecture? It's not a building of, uh, of some, uh, somebody like uh, Ungers, uh, Rossi, Fuchsas, uh, Nouvelle, uh, Kula. You can find some very bad building, industrial site, manufacture, old manufacturers, some barrack, Beautiful colors, beautiful place, landscape, and the architects, it is in existing architecture. Then it's the more exciting place that you can find. When you are in an old manufacturer, there's in anymore, no people, nobody there, no works, something fall down, some bricks, some steel, some rusty, and you feel so strong this, and you say, why I cannot do it? Why is it so strong, so beautiful? And architecture is so architecture. And architecture is never very, very exciting. 
Kiacho is architecture. Then uh, I was thinking a lot about it, around it. I said, but there are also some friends uh, here, Peter and others, uh, can speak about it. In which way we can do something fresh? What's freshness? Also, if a manufacturer with all the place, some buildings are ruins, it's no romantic way to speak. But it's something fresh that you feel that is something unbelievable, so strong. Then I was thinking uh, always that uh, we can do something like it. And, the and after I was all around it, and after many years, now I am thinking that uh, architecture is not interesting. Geography is very, very interesting. But what is geography? And why I don't say paisage, or landscape, landschaft? I say geography. The geography, there is the man in the geography. Economy, landscape, countries, people, colors different ethnic. The geography is fantastic. Why we cannot do now, before to do architecture, geography, landscape, identity of a place. Then architecture zero, geography, and after come back architecture. We have to kill architecture. We have to kill God, Father, King, and after, come back again, now. And when you make, in which way I start now? I, I show you something in which I was around this problem. I was always around. I could not touch, really. I think that now, if uh, we have something to do, first, we have to do something like a geography, landscape. And after we feel, we see if this place need building. And the building came alone. If the place need a building, building arrive, is coming. He said, I am here. It's, come. it's quite natural. It's your building there. Then we start with something like a landscape. On a call it landscape, it's a geography for me, and after it's back. Then this is what I am trying to do now, in the last few years. And I try to, to organize something that is it's, it's unbelievable. I am also happy if I don't build. Before I was very happy to build. I was so proud of my building. And now if I, if I, I can, uh, have a, in the, in the Tremblay near Rossi, my project is exactly 200 hectares of a ring, of a green, green uh, uh, belt. 200 hectares. When you arrive in Rossi, in the future, I hope that you can see a ring of trees, or a forest quite, the people that are walking there, and in the middle, empty, void, nothing. And what they want to build, they can build around. They can touch it. Then it's, it's unbelievable in which way, you know, many things we have to do in the town, in the landscape, outside, in the, our region, in our country, in, in Europe, overall in the world. We have to try to do something else, to, to try to find a new identity of some place. Then, this was what I think that is the most important for me now. That is, uh, this is life, and this is love. Then I try now to show you what you, I did uh, with some project to go on, uh, to touch something like this. I start with, uh, for the first time I show two projects, Italian projects, <laughs> that was in quite in our region of my, of my life, like architects. And I finish with a project that I think is uh, the most important for me, for around something that I am thinking about this, uh, this logic. Then uh, we, can, we can start the approach. Five. 
Then uh, you say that uh, it's, we cannot do better than this, I think. It's awful to think uh, it, but it's, uh, it's really strong that uh, you cannot do something because at all, uh, one small island uh, is so strong. It's so important, identification of a new geography. And the others was, uh, you see the light. You see, in the normal way, you can find a lot of things. You know what is this one? Uh? This is a cheese. The, yes, it's a cheese, and this one uh, on, the, on the right side. It's no architecture. The, cheese, the name of the cheese is Cantal. It's a fantastic uh, French cheese. And when they have to make all this cheese, they put something like, uh, like a, a cone, a big cone, with a light can inside. Then uh, you keep a lot of things from it. Then architecture is contamination. Architecture is not uh, a language. Architecture, if you are a good architect, you have to be contaminated. You have to be touched from everything. Then, I was in Italy. I was not very old in that time. I was young. And, uh, and uh, this is a, is a, and I show you two cemetery, cemetery that I did in Italy in the early, in the, the, the last, uh, uh, in the 70s, in the beginning of the uh, 80s, I think. I should, I should like to show you this, because you see this as a cemetery with a railway. But the railway was, uh, was not a joke, was a provocation in that time, because the mayor, he didn't want to have a, a railway in the middle of the cemetery. He said to me, uh, we, cannot make a, a, we cannot make a cemetery with the old railway inside. And they keep this inside, I put some... Uh, some beautiful stones over this region. It was not finished in that time. It was uh, very amazing. And uh, in the landscape, there is a mountain, a beautiful mountain. The name of this mountain is Monte Sorate. It's a uh, holy mountain from, uh, from, uh, from Roman people. This. And this is uh, uh, Oxary. This is a chapel. And this is uh, something like a square. We can go on, uh, please. You see, th this is, uh, was uh, one, one way to say which kind of building is uh, so logic in this context. Uh, then uh, I saw that in this context was uh, some, uh, uh, some water tower near, uh, some place this, uh, this, this kind of materials so was, uh, was material that can keep the light, uh, can keep it reflecting. Uh, it was, was good in this place. This was my, then uh, go on please. Then, but he was, uh, in another place, was different. In Orvieto, Orvieto is a beautiful uh, place, a beautiful town, that they said uh, I could do transparent building with a stone. With the same stone in which it was built the old town in front of us. Uh, this is a cemetery of, uh, of Orvieto. Uh, it's a progress, uh, it's a, it's a is a work in progress because they are working every every year so they make a, a small parts uh, and uh, in 10 years you have all the project to build. Uh, this is nice in the cemetery because uh, they build for several years. Uh, you are after several years you can find your building. And what uh, what was this concept or this uh, idea? Was uh, it was no important to make in that time was a very very on the Vogue, uh, the transparent building. And they said it's very strong to make lines of uh, energy. And uh, this lines is, is not in this way, it's in this way. But uh, in the office they said to me, but it's in this way. No, it's in this way. It's like the art. You have to take this, and after you know when you have to take away. You have to charge to live. This, I think, is very important for architects, for us, to charge it to live, to charge energy and charge it to live. And after it's uh, okay. Then, okay. Then it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, in a beautiful place.
place. It's, uh, I cannot say you uh, anything more than this, but please. It's beautiful material in this side. Yes. Yes. Now I am not any more Italian. <laughs> Stop. I am uh, I'm traveling. I am. I spent a lot of time in France. In the in a very fantastic moment, I was in France, and I hope to be in London for these beautiful years because I feel now the same atmosphere, perhaps better than uh, I felt when I was in Paris in the early 80s. Now it's fantastic atmosphere now in London. It's beautiful, and in Paris was very nice in that time for several reasons that every, everybody can say. But they asked me, this was my first project in, in France. Uh, in uh, Nantes, Rizé is in the suburbs of Nantes. They asked me to do a media tech. Uh, what is a media tech? It's a, it's a very French concept. It's no really or something. Uh, it's, a, it's a library. <laughs> Anyway, it's the library. And they call it a uh, Mediatek. Uh, the, the idea of this project was very simple. It was, uh, was an existing building, a concrete building. It was existing. It was a church. And the roof of this church was fall down. They, they said, the mayor asked me to say, I cannot use this building because it's not enough light for a library. And I said that it, for me it is enough light and uh, I can do something uh, uh, without uh, windows also, but without a lot of light. You can start from black to the light, from the night to the light. This, uh, no, please. And I was more interested to do not the building, but what's happening between the building. You see, architecture is, the building is not interesting. It's, it's more interesting, the void between. This, uh, in 86, I built this. Uh, and it was important, what is the tension between the two blocks? Now, all the, my project was, uh, I worked very hard to find this tension, but nothing more. Inside, this is inside of the black box. This is zinc black box. And the other, please. This was in the night. Always uh, la fire. I, I, I cannot say this in English. The fall, <coughs> fire. And uh, please. And this was the inside. Then uh, it's a lot of light. There is no windows, but the light came from, from the roof. And all around there is a, a glass box, and beyond the glass box there is aluminum paper. Then you have reflecting overall around you. Then you don't touch the wall. This was very important for me. I think that it, you have never touched the wall. You have to always to have uh, some escape way. Then uh, this was the building finished. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, we have to speak uh, more about this building, but uh, the most co important for me it was uh, this, uh, this void, uh, looking for a void, uh, seeking void, researching void, after there is something else uh, that another time we can speak about. Uh, please. Then I was uh, a lot in that time, I was very, very, polemic against design because design no, nobody is very com comfortable in the design chair and I, uh, and I saw all the photos of uh, the very commercial Louis Kenz it's an awful style of Louis Kenz Louis XIV is enough Louis says it the end. Lucchese is really awfully ugly, but he changed the colors. 
And this is, was a big polemic against all my friends that was very attached around the, 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 the design at that time, in the 80s. It was very involved in design. Then, uh, go on, please. But <coughs> I show only one painting of mine. I never show any more the painting. In the, in the, in the exhibition, you cannot find uh, the painting of mine because uh, I shame of it. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it is a because I'm, I don't know why, but uh, uh, I like so much uh, my paintings that I cannot show because uh, uh, I feel uh, I feel bad. But uh, my painting was something like that. I use it to start to build. I build with the painting. But now I am old. I don't use any more painting. Any more model, nothing. You know, when you are old, 52 is old, huh? when you are old, you don't need to draw, you don't need to make painting, you don't need models, because you are blind. And uh, in the morning, you see your building without drawing. And you go on in the building. And you have a promenade inside. You spaz even. You walk. You see this, the staircase. You see the light there, it's no good. Take another one. Stop this. And it's beautiful. Because it's, when you do it, you start <coughs> to, be, to become an architect. In my office, there is always some people that is drawing very hard, fast, very hard. And I go to see him and I say, what are you doing there? I am looking for it's a solution. I am and it's not their solution. Take you, take you away, go to take a coffee. <laughs> Think, solution is here. When you have a solution, you can draw. If you are a filmmaker, before you have a film here, and after, you write a film if you want. Perhaps that you can do a film without writing. Then I should like to do a, a building without drawing, without models, without nothing. I, I could be fantastic if uh, we make a building in 20 minutes. <laughs> you, you are thinking, and after you see, it's fantastic. Uh, you know there is a filmmaker, Italian, the name of this filmmaker is Antonioni. Antonioni. And uh, in the 68, he did the for us, for my generation, one beautiful movie that was Zabriskie Point. Uh, uh, I don't know how many of you have seen it, because <laughs> but it's, uh, and the Zabriskie Point was beautiful because you have a group of people, it is capitalist, it's inside a, a beautiful Vrachian villa, very expensive villa on the hill, and uh, and he was with. Uh, his girlfriend is looking this building and there is a big explosion without do anything, only with the mind. I think that uh, we have to use more the mind now. It's a good moment now. Less models, less painting, less drawing, and more mind. And after we come back to make painting, models, drawings, mind, etc. It's a then this was uh, uh, the, the project of uh, your dinner. He said it is a, is a Salzburg, um, Hamburg project. This was uh, one of the painting. The painting is a is a is a big one. This painting is I think is two meters. And uh, I start to do these paintings because we have been uh, in this time with uh, with. Uh, William also, uh, Otto Steidler, and uh, Jean Nouvel to, I, I, I wanted to do the Tour de Rouville. It was a building with a, a tower with the four architects, one after the other. This was a project that uh, I wanted to do in that time. And then we met in uh, Hamburg. There was, uh, was something, a pro competition, workshop, something like this. And uh, Willy was uh, making some paintings. You know Willy. And I said to Willy, 
I do 20 meters of painting in 20 minutes. <laughs> and I start to make 20 meters in 20 minutes. And this is one uh, of uh, 150 meters uh, that I did in that time. But it was a very, very amazing, very, it was beautiful time, let's say, the, uh, the end of uh, the 80s. Was a real end, the end. Then this was the place. In this kind of painting, I show only this painting, no, nothing more. Uh, there is a, the, the for me was a very important the light. And some some things inside. And uh, this was the place. Can we go on? The, the name of this project was uh, Blue Lagoon. Or the lonely of a crane waiting for a ship. Then in that time in, in Hamburg, Hamburg, it was very depressive. No ships, no works, nothing. Now it's very exciting place. Then they said one day could arrive a beautiful ship, no Bertolt Brecht ship, but another one, glass ship, transparent ship, very magic ship, they say on the, on the left side, on the right side, and, uh, and the crane that are very sad could, be, could become some other things, office, housing, live, life, and, and uh, some goods come from outside. This was the idea, was not, uh, this is what, uh, was my dream, but uh, the project was a little bit more complex. But uh, always this is some kind of uh, these ideas. I don't think that uh, you can do a project without uh, a dream. It's your dream, I am sure, it's not a dream of uh, everybody. But uh, you can ask uh, to everybody to have a dream. Not exactly your dream, a different dream. More dream we have, uh, more is better. It's like... Uh, Kurosawa uh, movie, please. And this was the model that you have in the exhibition. It was uh, the, 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 the your coffee, coffee shop, a restaurant, office, uh, uh, about this thing. It was always very important, the tension when you are in the curb, please. Then, I am in France, I built. I built something for television. It was, uh, it was uh, uh, in France, uh, they, have, uh, they never show concrete, they never show steel, nothing. They, they put always something uh, uh, like this. Never materials, original materials. Then I, I put something more, and I build, build with, uh, with, uh, with uh, all the antenna, with all television, uh, installation, everything, please. This was uh, in, the, in the last uh, uh, 80s, uh, I think 87, 86, 80, some 10 years ago, please. And it was uh, inside, it was, uh, my project is very important inside. I start always inside. I never draw facade. I don't like facade. I said that you can have a facade also when you are finished your section. You go on with uh, your section till the end. At the end, you have facade, but you never draw facade. Uh, in my office, uh, we we never draw, we never design a facade, never. Please. And after there is a project in Rouen, there is a uh, there is an old building, an old building, an ancient building of a. Uh, 17th century with the uh, addition in, uh, in the early uh, 20th century and, uh, and they cut away the addition and they put something else, please. Please. This is a uh, wood uh, quite always, uh, no, please. Please. Then I have a, a project uh, on uh, this is the long one in Brest, and uh, this is the project. Our technology center, 
in front of of, of, of Atlantic Sea, please. There's something like uh, are going this building, but also they don't touch, never touch, and um, the feet are very very light. This is no steel; it's concrete steel. It's concrete uh, feet, please. And the roof is very important always, please. Because you don't see the, the people cannot see the roof, but you see, you know the roof. Then uh, you have to care very well the roof, always. Also, if uh, you are the only one that could see it, please. Then, uh, after this project, I have another huge project in Brest. Uh, the project was in in a area in area very uh, it's the entrance of the town and uh, i cannot say anything about this project i like it so much <laughs> but uh, it was something that uh, i i didn't want that uh, a part of this build touch uh, the ground then i think that uh, my con my idea is this always the most important for me is that what you do with the sky, with even, what you do with the ground, or with the earth. In which way you touch the sky, in which way you touch the earth. In the middle there is architecture, it's normal. In which way you touch. What's happening between the, the sky, the light of the sky, in the day, in the night, and your building. This I think is the most important, uh, what I, I should like to do. Uh, this is a building, I should like to build there something that uh, was quite existing, like uh, a manufacturer that you, you find always there, but is not there, you, you make some modification, is no modification, everything is new. Please. This is uh, the other side, the other building, you see always the roof. And uh, this is the site, it's a beautiful site, please. Then in different, uh, in different uh, moments of the day, the night, uh, the building could be very important. Uh, is uh, is in the middle of traffic, uh, and uh, I should like to have a new facade on the street uh, to take the street a little bit uh, to be open uh, to change the scale. More important is scale. More than a scale is important. Horizonte, horizont, horizon. This is very important. Better than the scale, because this is a line. This is dynamic. This can change. You go up and down. It is uh, it's more dynamic. Scale is classic. It's normal, quite. It's your dimension. Then, horizon is that this could do up and down, left and go. It could be in the, in the different side. It, it's it's uh, something fa fantastic. Then, go on, please. <coughs> then, I was thinking a lot about... Uh, in which way the people can walk inside, uh, what's happening. I should like to see the people there. The, the most important for me was uh, uh, the, the people that are walking in the parcel from uh, one side to the other side. And after, in which way I cut the building from one state to go in the other side or the other building. Please. Please. Ah, this is a different side. You can see. <laughs> the, uh, this was the fire, the cut inside. And the other was, uh, this was the best, I think, uh, what I like. If I can say you what I want to do, this was. In the evening, the people are walking. Uh, you see the, the silhouette of people against the sky, please. And other things that I should like to see was the cafeteria, the restaurant, and uh, the light of this restaurant, Ingo Maurer, Maurer he did it. And uh, I should like to see the town between. You see one part of the building, the black part, and after the light of the building, this horizon. Because you are gone, you, you climb. On the staircase, uh, you can see, you can discover a lot of things. It is. And after, you can see on the other side what. Please. Then, uh, in Nîmes, I did a project. 
and I was successful in this competition. And this project, uh, I started for the first time to do this project without drawing. <laughs> and I said, I should like to make a building like this. Not in this way, but in the other way. And the office, they said to me, uh, in which, this way? No, it's in this way. That is a little bit crazy, this, but it's true. It's when you have energy, you take the, uh, this is important, in which way you take carbon, you take in this way. This is more important. And after, it's like this. Like in a Zen culture, you have no to see, because arrows go on. You took this, you know. This is, this is a very, uh, everybody knows it about ARC. Please. Then I did a, a project, a not successful project, in 91, 1991, in which I said, we can not only to do in this way, but we can cut. You take something, a bread, you cut. You have to make only some things, some uh, parallel people, and you cut. Your intervention, you architect, what are you doing? You cut, you take away. Take away. It's like sculpture. But it's not only sculpture. You take away some mass, some heavy poi. And this is very easy, very simple. You can do this. You, you do a very parallel people, very simple parallel people, you cut. You. Not some people in your office. You do it. It's fantastic to do this. Try to do it. After Rome. <laughs> Please. Then, another project. <coughs> uh, this is, was a uh, Liceum, a gymnasium school. I don't know what he's saying in a, in a school, a high school. High school? Yes, it's high school. And, uh, and uh, this is an, uh, I won this competition in the 90, exactly in the 90. And the, day, the idea of this project was to have void inside, but this kind of void has to be like Piazza Navona, but not like Piazza Navona, it is uh, baroque and static. Baroque is no static, but could be. Some ticket it is in this way. That's it. Now we are not more in this way, but we are in this way. Not in this way, in this way. Then uh, what I want to do is the void. I want to do this uh, with different materials. After with Doriana, we are speaking about this material, and we say that it could be all white. Take away the materials, take the texture of materials without materials. Then, please, and uh, in my project there is always three lights. One light is direct light, it lights the window. And others, you see, you don't see. And others, you don't see, it's magic. You have to keep this kind of light to, gi to give magic, something more magic to the building. With only one light you could not do. With two, you, you can do, but with three, it's perfect. And uh, this, is a, this is a wood, you see? You see only the texture. The other is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is zinc. There is uh, many materials. So my quite old materials now is, uh, please, go on, please. You see the difference? The client was very, very angry with me because he, he loved the, 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 all this kind of structure, wood. And they said, no, it's not so good. You can take this way. And they fight for three months because uh, during the, the, the building, building site, the, the construction, it, it was, uh, you see that there is brick there. Brick, and the different material. You see the difference? It's exactly the same picture of white. Please. This concrete, this is, please. And this uh, near of this building, there is a uh, housing for, 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 
for professor. And the uh, and the also of professor is a, is a, the most important of this building is a, is terrace. Because it's nice when you go away from your building, you are ho in uh, your apartment. You are always in your apartment. It's much nice. You have a terrace, it's much better. But when you go out from your terrace, from your apartment, you make a, a tour, you come back from the other side. This is nice. You, are, you can see your building for, <laughs> for far away. <coughs> if you are far away, or your building is much better for your apartment. Because you are inside, you are stupid. You are in the windows and the people are outside. They look you, you look the people. <laughs> it's also interesting. You can take a walk all around. It's more than that. You can see your building. You say, like the other people. You, are, you see me, I wish I see him. <laughs> <laughs> this, I think, is a fantastic way to, but this is one side of what, what I think. Uh, please. Uh, this is the only one side in which I don't, uh, the, the other pictures, that I don't touch the, the wood because it was so nice, uh, the, 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 the shadow, the grid, that I could not uh, take away the, the wood um, taste. Was so that this is the building, you see. And now you can understand better, because I show you always, uh, at the last time, what is the concept. Please, go on. Then, this is... Uh, is in the last uh, building design. It's much better than, uh, I think that it is, uh, this is a, it's a project of uh, this year, so that is, uh, is a project in which I should like to show that it's possible to do something uh, simple, strong in the town, in the suburbs, in the very bad sub suburbs on a count, and this building could, could touch the other building, could become a part of the town, and not only a building. Then, please. And, uh, and uh, this, and after I say that it, it is nice if you have two, two level, uh, you can have uh, something, some zigzag that come all around. Inside, you have not, you have, you have different perspective. Uh, you, you don't touch the ground. In some place you touch, some place you don't touch. If they have some problems to have uh, some uh, for the water, for the, 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 the toilet, you can take everything's down. It's no purism. There is no structure, simple structure. It's please uh, go on because I, I should like to show it, please. You see, there is a lot of things inside, structure, water, toilet, uh, it's different color. I am, no, uh, I am any more afraid if something is different, if something is a problem. I try to do a freedom machine, a free machine. It seems, in my office, around, uh, we are, we, are f we are doing always something very hard. Uh, the machine in which we are prisoner, we said we have to be struck in this way. This, uh, we have to find, uh, like in the 60s, like in the 50s, like the artists in this, uh, the, this age, like Harper, like a lot of people. Something that is for us is a freedom. If you have, uh, you have not to have the problem to where you have to put the window. If you have this problem, your product is wrong. You have to have a problem of a grid, something that you can put a window where you want. It could be always better and better. Nevertheless, you can do this. Please. This is uh, the, the idea, the concept of the project. In this place, this one. And uh, the, the, it was very important to find the front of the street, uh, also to find a relationship with uh, all this uh, border, with uh, this awful... But it's not awful. It's, uh, this is the town now. Then we keep it. We work with it. We are doing some stratification. We work more and over, up and down. Please. And this was uh, my project for Frankfurt. I won this competition for a, a tower. Uh, I don't know when I can build it. 
And uh, this is uh, the, some scheme that I did in that time uh, to do this project. The, the most important was light, the well, relationship between the tension between uh, the, the different, uh, uh, the different uh, object, different tension, please. Then this is the project uh, in Paris that uh, I built this during 10 years because I start with the part and I finish this year, I finish the last part, it's uh, the last small building. This building is, uh, is, uh, is a not a building, it's a, it's a quartier, it's a place in the Faubourg Saint Antoine. You know what is a Faubourg? Faubourg is not Osmanian, Osman town. No, it's uh, like a structure, structure, Faubourg. Faubourg is, a, is a one place, it was before the town with some atelier, with the some uh, small manufacturers, with uh, some docks, some place like this. Then in this place, uh, I built some housing, uh, some sporting, sports hall, and, uh, and uh, some uh, shopping, something like that, uh, some parking. Please. The first, uh, the first uh, project, part of project is, uh, is, uh, is uh, 86, and the last is uh, 96. Please. This is inside of a sport hall. It was the first project that I built there. It's beautiful because there is, uh, it's beautiful the landscape. Uh, and uh, there is two uh, tennis, uh, one up over the, the, the parking, the other is over the, the, this building, the, the sporting hall, please. You can see in the video, it's much better. Than and the red house is, uh, is uh, the house of a guardian house. I did it uh, like uh, for the garden. I like very much the garden. Please. It's a zinc is beautiful uh, materials because take uh, the light, uh, take uh, it's a, could be old in good way. We are always afraid to be old. Also the materials. Then we have to find the materials that like to be old. We have to ask them, please, in which way you can you want to be old. Go on, please. And there is, a, this is a net. Uh, there is three net. That uh, it's beautiful the town when you are also a filter. If you are tree net, you can see like a landscape, different landscape, and you keep the light in different way. The place can change. It can be other things, please. And when you walk, you see inside, up with the tennis, town, reflecting town, a lot of things. Uh, then is, uh, is I think it's a urban place. Uh, this is a nice place. I like very much this place. But not only architecture, the place, the really the location. Please. And Enzo Kuki, the painters, you know very well. He did this uh, big uh, painting of, of 25 meters for six meters. Uh, Behind there, this is it. I, is, uh, I think his cookie was uh, was enough strong in this time, and also the roof is uh, flatting. It's a uh, flutuan. Uh, how do you say this? Uh, floating, floating. Please, please. And uh, this was uh, w what I should like to say. This easy but floating. Instability, no stability. Stability is stupid. It's better to go to be stable where you are, where you sit, where you are proud of you, what is become to be something a bit. This is, uh, and uh, in the another corner, you have another building. Because it's, uh, I, I never show you the old master by the play, because I never show the drawing. I don't want to show you the drawing. I want to show only like the image that you keep uh, in the town. And this is. Uh, a part of the, this is uh, this and the other side. Uh, you have an old building there, very slim, and they did this double, and after I changed the, the texture because there is some atelier here, please. Please. And this is the, the, the new one. 
It's nice to build it, and I build one over the others. But it's uh, in the same moment. Okay. It is in the core because I didn't want any more to do something uh, in the same way. He said this, uh, this uh, has to be very kind of building. And the people has to live in this it's, uh, with a big roof. Uh, please. And from the school you see a, a net, a green net that you see inside. This is inside uh, from the school, please. Uh, from, uh, there is a many terrace which uh, yeah, you can watch, you can see, you can take the sun. And this in this way, please. And after this, uh, this is uh, a first part of Salzburg, Salzburg project. It's a very huge shopping center that I did in the beautiful landscape. Please. This is uh, the first picture that we have of this building. Because it's, uh, it's now it's finished. The first, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, 150 square, 50,000 square meters. And there is double glass with the serigraphy. And uh, it's, uh, it's a complex building, but I want only to show you the, this image, please. 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 Uh, this is a, it's a Limoges. I just finished this building. Uh, I work in this building for quite six years. And uh, I built this in the last two years, but it was four years uh, that I was uh, drawing this building. It's an is a, uh, is a extension of a one very ancient building that I make very simple in some si in one side. And after, please, is a, this was uh, the models, original models of Copedicio. This was uh, in the building side. Please. 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 This is amphitheater, 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 uh, yeah, amphitheater is inside. There is four or five amphitheater of this one, please. Then, this is the last two projects. Uh, Bordeaux. Is a, uh, I am very in love for this building. For several reasons. One of these reasons is that uh, I want to do one building that can change during the building site. For you students, for us architects, well we are all architects, students and architects. So I think that it's beautiful that we, we can see the building during a construction, a longer construction. That this building change is like a painter. You make a painting, and there is always some stupid people behind you that say, stop it, it's so good. No, I want to go on. It's not finished. It's a, it's a, it, 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 please. Then this building was, uh, in different seasons, different building. In the beginning was concrete. Concrete was uh, in the summer. A big box of concrete was no bad. After in autumn become wood. And after in the springtime become in the in the winter become uh, copper and the springtime become green with acid. Then I I was so happy to see the, this building, this difference building. I saw four buildings. Well, it was like a in this time, like a filmmaker, you don't see only one uh, film. You see a lot of film. You can cut, you can put in this different way. That, that the concept of this building was, I should like to make a building that you cut in two sides, and you, have tr you can see true. There's a wall that you can see true in the side, and in the horizontal and the vertical side, please. And the, the light come in different way. Inside is a, is a magic box with a lot of things. This exhibition, uh, this uh, for the exhibition. 
Uh, you have a very high 50 meters of higher, and after you have four meters for exhibition. Please. Under the box, you can close the box. There's nothing. It's green box, nothing more, and the and the, 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 the Persian, 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 uh, Persian, sharp, sharp, are wood, please. But there is something that come up. <laughs> you see that? It's a nice uh, This is uh, for a radio. This is a center of art. And, uh, and when you see in the day, you don't see that it is uh, transparent, but you, when you are inside, you keep light. It's, uh, it's beautiful light. Excuse me, but I feel it. It's <laughs> inside. And after, please. You see true in the night? Please. In the night, you see transparent. The wood box could be transparent. It's very easy. There is a light inside. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the horizontal cut could be transparent. And the building is so floating. And you see always something that is in the other side. And I want you to see the trees on the other side of the building. I want to see the sky when you see like a screen, you have a wall and you see the sky or something out. Please. You see what I mean? You are inside or is a big eye? Some screen. Please. Then, this is the last. Then at the end of my, uh, my, my, my years, <laughs> I, uh, I fall in love, honestly, for, for something that uh, is a landscape. And uh, I won a competition to do on a Pyrenees in New, quite in the border with the Spain, Something it was the entrance of a grotto in which you can find some uh, million, says, I don't know how many million, million, million of years ago of uh, some graffiti. Graffiti, you know. <laughs> they did it exactly like us. <laughs> they put always some coal, some, uh, some, uh, some oars, some ark, but it wa was exactly the same. It was superstition, like us. Then uh, the idea was in this way. There is a big grotto, 55 meters higher. There is no form, no shape. It's beautiful. If we can do architecture without shape, transparent, immaterial is not without shape. We have to find something without shape, really. There is no shape that you can do without shape. You can think only something like this, but we can do it. I think uh, one day or another we can do. And if this building could be something that is a tension, I should like to go out with a very narrow space. You go out and you see all the valley. This was what I was thinking. And after there is some drawing inside, that you came inside, you touch the end of this place, <laughs> And you walk inside. So this was the model. Now it's in San Popidou, this one. And this is the building. It's 36 meters higher. The material is a curtain. It's a rusty. I want something rusty, just rusty. I want to see older. I want to be older before than I, I become old. I want to see myself old. I don't want to see that other people see me old. Then, please. Then you have uh, wood. 
In the beginning, you have a two, uh, two, two lateral panels. And after there is only one, the other is the rocks. And after there is a skyline against the, the please. Please? Please? Then, you go out the wool, very slim, a feature, and after you see all the landscape, and you, you are free, and no more architecture, landscape, horizon, beautiful light, and you may come to live again. Please, thank you very much. No. No question. No question, nothing, ooh, because ooh, uh, okay. I think that we can drink something together if you want to say something. <laughs> But it's customary for people to ask questions here. Yeah, if they want to ask, yeah, of I'm course. Sure they they are. Are. I'm sure they will. So if you give us a couple of minutes. Maybe those people who uh, would like to leave could leave fairly quickly, but I'm sure there'll be some questions from the floor. Joel, do you have the uh, microphone, maybe? My English was ter terrible, I th I'm it's sure. <laughs> it was powerful. Any questions? Well, maybe before uh, everybody disappears, I would ask uh, one question just to uh, yeah. start the session. Um, you were talking at the beginning about this issue of uh, geography and not landscape and the fact that geography really has landscape, has ethnicity, has all these other things. And then you were talking about the space in between of buildings and then we saw the buildings themselves in some way. What I would very much like to sort of hear, if possible, is if you could talk a little bit about the way in which the buildings meet the, geog ge the geography in a sense. Because I think that there is in the projects also a very strong sense of urbanism mm -hmm. in many of the projects. But we uh, didn't hear in a way uh, uh, an argument about the kind of urbanism that you would, you would propose. In the context of what is happening now I think in many European cities, it seems that the question of urbanism is now once again a very important item on the agenda. Could you right. say something about how this architecture that you're doing in some sense really begins to address the issue of urbanism more directly? That's a problem. It's, uh, it's very, very difficult, but it's uh, fantastic what you are. I, I think that we are spent, it's a, a very simple idea uh, about this. Uh, the first was that in the, in the 60s we try uh, with the utopia to do something else. After we understood that uh, the future is not exactly like we was thinking, and the uh, future is very, very linked with the past. Future and past are quite the same. Because we are the same. Car can change, but not much. I think that the problem now is different. In which way we live? Anyway, pollution, it was pollution in the 19th century, very hard, the beginning of the century. Roman people died uh, 25 years uh, old because it was uh, uh, lead. They eat in the lead uh, dish. You know that I am not afraid about pollution, around pollution. I am afraid around about some other thing. In the 70s, the archivists tried to say that uh, Objects are better than town. Was frustrated with utopia, with utopia. He said, now we build, we have a theory, architecture is inside of architecture, nothing uh, is outside, we cannot uh, go on uh, in this way. In 80s, it was a little bit better. We tried to go out, but we said, no more object, something that is more near to town to urban space, but I think that I, I didn't show you my urban project now. It's only one or two, but it's a lot of this kind. And I think that uh, not only mine, but a lot of these uh, 
are, are literally uh, really disaster. Why? Because we was thinking that it could be possible to marry the architecture and urban space in some way with, uh, with uh, some culture of banlieue, suburbs, and the modern, modern, what is modern is disaster, is aggressive, this, we can live with it. Then. I don't know if I am now, I become old. But I feel that uh, we are wrong a little bit in this side. Now I think that we are to think more, what's happening now? You have a space. Some people ask you, please build here. There are no many people that ask us, because there are no many people that want to build now in Europe. It's not so bad. It's not so good. It's not so bad. Then we can think, we have more time to think if uh, we have to build really or not. Or in which way? Perhaps that we can build under the ground. Or sometimes we can put only 2,000 trees there, or only water. Or water and trees and something under, or something up. I think that we have more time to think, to reflect on some things. And uh, we, uh, I am not, uh, I am optimist now. Because uh, after many mistakes, we know what we can do better. And this is, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, I think that my, what I say around geography is also optimist. This, uh, it's, uh, we are not against architecture. We are not against landscape. We are not against urbanism. We are not against the men, the people, person. We want to bring everything together uh, to be a little bit happy, more happy than we are now. This is, I think, is uh, our, what we have to do now. This is uh, my pretension. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much.